everybody and welcome back to the channel for this episode of Quick Strike. The Tampa Bay Lightning, though, have unfortunately suffered their first loss to the Columbus Blue Jackets by a score of 5-2. to two. As always, my name is Jake Ricker alongside my good friend and co-host Michael Wax. Michael, a tough loss today, but as they say, you can't win them all. How are you doing today? It is a bit of a tough loss, you know. It sucks that the Lightning aren't able to go 56-0, and 0, but... At the end of the day, it was one game. There was a lot to not like about this game. Uh, the first thing I will say uh, today is uh, best wishes to both Eric Chernak and Mitchell Stevens. Both of them went out of this game with injury. Both did not return. And I'm not going to say which one is worse, but... You know, one I assume is going to be out for a couple of weeks. One maybe out for the rest of the season. Yeah, the 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 injuries were not great and definitely were not helpful for the Bolts during this game. And uh, as you said, we absolutely hope uh, that they can obviously be back soon. But I think the Lightning are going to have to plan to be without uh, Mitchell Stevens for a little while. John Cooper noted in his press conference that that's what they're planning for. Now, speaking of the Stevens injury, we have to expect that we could see a potential call up from the taxi squad since he will more than likely be out for a while. A lot of this speculation is that Jamel Smith is going to be the one that's called up, but we'll have to wait and see. Lines could change. Uh, now, one guy who did also miss the game today was Blake Coleman. He was a, a healthy scratch. Uh, it was a coach's decision, and Cooper noted that was because he missed a team meeting. So he basically uh, pulled a Braden point and then overslept. Cooper said, though, nobody feels as bad as him, and you know he'll be right back at it and back out on the ice. So lines are going to look very different for the next couple of weeks, but those two guys, unfortunately, out for this game. Uh, which did not help. Yeah, and, you know, Blake Coleman's presence was awfully missed. I, I do think Matthew Joseph played very well in his presence on that uh, third line. But, again, Matthew Joseph is not the same and does not have the same skill set as Blake Coleman. Matthew Joseph is very fast. He's very quick with his hands, as we've noted. He's becoming a lot more quick to the puck. Blake Coleman's very technical with his style. He is that guy that, you know, maybe Yanni Gord will be that guy to go after the puck. And Blake Coleman will sit back. He'll eye what's going on in the defense. And, you know, we didn't really have that from Matthew Joseph today. Uh, I am see, excited to see Coleman back. And if Stevens is going to be out for an extended period of time, I'm actually really excited to see what Jamel Smith do, does. He was really good with the Lightning in his uh, ex, sort of extended stay last year. He played a couple of games more than a lot of people thought he would between Pat Maroon and Luke Witkowski. And now he's going to have the opportunity to play between either, well, Pat Maroon on one side and take your pick of Alexander Volkov, Matthew Joseph, Alex Barry Boulay if they decide to make a call up. There's a lot of different options that the Lightning could use when it comes to their fourth line overall. But their fourth line center, it really feels like it's Smith's job to lose now. Uh, and I'm excited to see what he can do. Absolutely. And this is one you know area the Lightning really can't lose because they have so much uh, depth. So it'll be good to see who gets who steps up and, and, and makes the most of that opportunity. Let's keep talking about the negatives from this game, Michael, so we can end on a positive note. Uh, but, you know, Cooper said in this his press conference that this was one of the worst games he's seen from the Bolts, especially from this season. Now, granted, they haven't played in forever. We've only played four games to this point, but uh, I think he was right. There was a lot of things that weren't great from this game. What stood out to you the most that uh, you didn't like from this one? Uh, Jan Ruda. Uh, he's got to stop taking penalties. He's got to stop turning the puck over. It's one minor penalty he's averaging per game, which is not good at all. And, you know, we talk a lot about how Victor Hedman is that type of guy that can mask a lot of the defensive problems with whoever he's playing with, whether that was past his prime Anton Stroman, uh, whether that was Jake Dotchin, uh, whether that did, was Dan Girardi even. And, he's not even able to mask up some of the mistakes that Ruta makes, which is really glaring at the beginning of the season. I know the Lightning have one of the top six or one of the best top six defensive 
you know, groups in hockey. And that makes Ruta stick out even more. You know, his job, as far as we're concerned as Lightning fans, is to be defensively responsible. And so far, he has not done very well at that. Hopefully, he gets back on track. But if not, and if Cernak comes back very quickly, I can definitely see a demotion in his future. And I would also expect to see Cal Foot start to get a lot more ice time with Cernak possibly being out and with Ruta's, uh, you know, play kind of on the decline right now. Now, it is only four games, and I do expect him to get back to it. But as of right now, he is definitely struggling. Uh, for the team overall, though, from that point of view on this game, uh, for those that may have not been able to watch the game today, Hedman got off to a, Hedman was fantastic, and we'll get to him in just a minute, but the Lightning got off to a very good start and scored the first goal in this game. Victor Hedman actually fanned on a shot, was able to still spin around, though, get that puck and, and put it on net. It was a fantastic shot. I highly recommend going to check out the highlights to see that goal. Uh, but normally where the Lightning actually really thrive and doing really good on, on shifts after goals, that did not happen today. Uh, Columbus came out and immediately responded and was able to tie that game up, which is a huge thing uh, from the momentum perspective, which we talk about all the time is extremely important. So it just kind of seemed like to me that today the Lightning were just kind of a step behind this whole entire game. I think that has a lot to do with the way this schedule is working this year with you are playing multiple teams in a series when, you know, in this case, Columbus lost that first game and that second game, they're going to come out and have a pep in their step. And that clearly showed in the game today. And don't get me wrong. This is not an excuse for losing games. Obviously we have to talk about the negatives and you want those things to get fixed, but I think it is worthy to be noted that, you know, Columbus did play a very good game today. Yeah, all the credit in the world to Columbus. John Tortorella is probably the best coach in the NHL when it comes to in-game adjustments. That's why he's lasted so long in the NHL. Uh, you know, the Lightning did what they could at the beginning of the game to really get off to a hot start. And then as soon as that goal went in, Columbus changed their style. And that really messed with the Lightning. And I know they had one more goal at the end of the first period, but it really felt like it was Columbus's game to lose at that end of the, or overall after that first goal. So, you know, that is something that the Lightning are going to have to contend with for the rest of the schedule. Coaches are not dumb. If you lose the first game, they will find adjustments to make for that second game in the series, and you're going to see them play a different way. And I think that is a testament for the Lightning as well. If they lose the first game, Coach Cooper has to make adjustments. So I think this one game is a good learning experience for John Cooper and the Lightning. I hope it's not a recurring trend, though. And you're going to see the teams that are at the top of the divisions aren't going to be the ones that are able to win, you know, these series and win both these games and not just always – uh, lose on the split but let's move to some positives before we wrap up this video Michael because there were some positive you know as we say there's always negatives in the games that we dominate and there's always positive in the games where we get dominated and one of those positives was Victor Hedman uh, we kind of mentioned a little bit before when we were talking about Jan Ruda but he continues to shine he had a goal and assist in today's game uh, but it just you expect this from him, but he continues to show it, uh, which is really good to see and obviously very helpful for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah, he was unbelievable today. He was his Norris type self. Uh, you know, these are the type of games that we sort of expect, and that is very unfair expectations from Lightning fans. But they expect this every single night, and every single night he seems to deliver. Uh, you know, it's very rare that he makes a mistake. Uh, it's very rare that he... Um, takes a penalty, uh, has a turnover, uh, is not like his true self. So, you know, another fantastic game from him. I also thought Ryan McDonough had a fantastic game. Uh, you know, he had that that breakaway stop where he basically r rushed from one night, end of the ice to the other to thwart a for sure breakaway on Vasilevsky by Liam Foody. Uh, he was great in the offensive zone, still jumping up on plays. Uh, he has turned into, on this Lightning squad, even though he's still Victor Hedman, a number one defenseman, which is 
something that I don't think we could have said for the rest of his Lightning career because it always felt like he was in the shadow of Hetman. He was taking a little bit of pressure off and just being that number two guy. Very good number two guy, but just being that number two guy. Now it really feels like he's playing like a number one guy. And the fact that you have two number one guys on your team is more than enough to even go back to the playoffs. So Lightning should be very thankful that they have two fantastic number one guys. Absolutely. It's huge. McDonough has been fantastic. Just recently hit a huge milestone uh, in the last game, which we mentioned in our recap, the last video. But uh, overall, too, I thought the special teams for the Lightning actually looked pretty decent for the most part. The Lightning were successful on the penalty kill, killing off all of the penalties that they had. Now Columbus is one of the worst teams uh, when it comes to the power play, but they still kill it off nonetheless, which was always good. Power play was one for three today, which, you know, isn't the best, but they did have some pretty good looks and they did score on the one. So I thought the special teams were pretty good as well. Um, and, you know, so before we wrap this up, Michael, anything else to add? Any positives you'd like to point out from maybe the Fords group? Um, you know, that fourth line I thought was really clicking uh, before the Stevens injury. And again, that is just an unfortunate injury. You could talk about the play. I really think it should have been at least a minor penalty for interference. But at the end of the day, the fact that he's going to be out for a long time is just a an unfortunate coincidence. Uh, and I thought the fourth line before that played great. You know, you've got Alex Volkov on one side. You've got Pat Maroon on the other. Mitchell Stevens in the center. I know they were on the goal, goal or I know they were on the ice for two of the goals against, but they also generated that first scoring chance for Victor Hedman. Uh, Mitchell Stevens continues to impress in the face-off circle. I am interested to see how that fourth line is going to shake out now, though. You know, we talked about that earlier. One person that we sort of glossed over is ABB. I'd love to see ABB on the team playing, number one, but on the fourth line, number two, if you could put him with Jamel Smith, who is a very, very talented guy when it comes to being in the right place at the right time, and someone like Alex Volkov or Pat Maroon, who I think could really utilize his skill set. Uh, as far as the defensive side of things goes, I was really disappointed with today. You know, some people had fine games like McDonough and Hedman. Some people had awful games like Sergeyev and Ruda, and then you had Calfoot in the middle, who's sort of there. I'm not going to really judge him quite yet. Uh, I will say that they have some decisions to make because Eric Chernak is out. Jan Ruda has not impressed. Who are they going to bring in now? Are they going to rotate foot out, which I do think would be a mistake. You know, let the kid get a couple of games in before you rotate him out. What are they going to do? It's going to be really fascinating to see what they do against Carolina. Definitely, John Cooper has some decisions to make, but uh, that's going to do it for us, guys, in, in today's video. So the next game that the Lightning are scheduled to currently play is against the Carolina Hurricanes, I believe, on January 26th. That's a Tuesday at 7 p.m., although it does sound like they're – we could potentially have some more postponed games. Carolina has had their last two games against the Florida Panthers specifically postponed due to COVID-19. And as of right now, the team has traveled back to Tampa and are currently waiting for their information from the NHL. So as of right now, the game is still on, but it could get postponed. We don't know about the game on Thursday either, which Lightning are also supposed to play against Carolina. So that could also get postponed, uh, but make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and we'll keep you updated on all that information. Also be sure to follow us on all our social medias, which will be linked down in the description so you don't miss out on any breaking news that we will put out on Bay Bolts for you guys. So uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, your Tampa Bay Lightning are your defending Stanley Cup champions. Good luck.